Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on acute epiglottitis. It is an acute inflammation of epiglottis and the surrounding structures, such as airy epiglottic fall or erythenoid soft tissues. Acute epiglottitis is a life-threatening emergency because there is high risk of respiratory obstruction. It affects all age groups, but it is most commonly seen in children around 1 to 6 years old. This picture shows the normal epiglottis versus an inflamed epiglottis seen in the acute epiglottitis. These are the few causative organisms that can cause this condition, where the most commonly seen organism is the Haemophilus influenza type B. Others include group ABC streptococci, streptococcus pneumoniae, Klebsiella pneumoniae, Staphylococcus aureus, and also Haemophilus parainfluenza. The clinical features of acute epiglottitis The child may present with severe sore throat together with dysphagia, which is difficulty in swallowing, and also drooling of saliva. They may have hoarse voice, paroxia, where there is fever, and generally they look unwell, ill and toxic looking, and dehydrated. Schrider is the late sign for acute epiglottitis, where there is some respiratory obstruction occurring already. So to diagnose acute epiglottitis, this diagnosis is established based on the clinical history, the signs of toxemia, and also signs of upper airway obstruction. Mortality rate is high if the diagnosis is delayed, so it requires fast diagnosis. And we have to take note for physical examination of the child. We cannot do any throat examination with specula until the resuscitation equipment is ready. So for investigations, notify the senior anesthetist, pediatrician, and also ear, nose, throat surgeon. We perform laryngoscopy to diagnose the condition in ICU or OT setting, where we will be able to see a cherry red intense swelling of the epiglottis and surrounding tissues. We intubate the child before obstruction occurs. And other blood investigations, such as blood culture and sensitivity, which is only done after the airway has been secured. And we don't recommend to do neck x-ray because it may worsen the airway obstruction and cause death. However, in lateral x-ray, we may be able to see swelling of the epiglottis showing a thumbprint sign shown in this picture here. There is a lateral x-ray showing the swelling of the epiglottis. For management, admit the child into hospital urgently, transfer them to ICU or anesthetist room with a senior medical staff present in case there is respiratory obstruction occurring. And it requires either trachostomy or endotracheal intubation in general anesthetic condition. Give high flow humidified oxygen to achieve the maximal alveoli O2 saturation Look out for any cardiac or respiratory problem and also supervise the patient all the time by the medical staff. For medical treatment, IV antibiotics are started right after the diagnosis and right after the airway is secured. So the antibiotics we can give are cephalosporin, such as ceftriaxone or cefotaxim, given for 2-5 to five days and if the cause is due to staph aureus, Staphylococcal cause, we can add fluoxacidine. Prognosis of acute epiglottitis, it usually resolves after 2 to 3 days of treatment. And for prevention, give prophylactic rifampicin for close household contacts. And prevention for children can give vaccination, which is the Haemophilus influenza type B vaccine. That's all for this video. Thank you.